And welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. I am your host, Pep Fernandez, and make sure you subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. Well, the Pacific High School softball team should be in the hunt for a Mountain Valley League title this season. In fact, they've never won a league championship in softball. So trying to make school history, the Pirates taking on Rubido in, in Mountain Valley League play. So again, trying to make school history. And it's also the final year for the athletic director, Carmel Brand. We'll see if they can do it uh, for Carmel. That would be great. San Bernardino won the Mountain Valley League title last year. So... And Rubido going at it. Pirates trailing early in the first game after giving up a couple runs, including a home run. But in the bottom of the first, Pirates battle back. Samantha Cifuentes ropes the deep shot to center field. That'll score Rachel Gonzalez. And then it's Tabitha Cifuentes slapping the single through the hole into left. That'll bring home Alana Sanchez and Cifuentes. The Pirates played a couple runs in the bottom of the first inning to make things more interesting. To the second inning, Pacific looking for more. This time it's going to be slaps the single to center field and the Pirates have two runners on board but Rubido would get out of the jam this time when Alea Pasias in the circle for the Falcons gets the strikeout to end the inning so we fast forward to the third inning the Pirates still hitting the ball real hard in this game Katie Ramirez gets on board with the single to center field still in the third Sanchez will lay down the bunt and watch the throw to first away so the Pirates they've got runners on the corners but once again Rubido starter Pasias will get a K to prevent Pacific from scoring any more runs Rubido would turn up the offense and then go on to win 16 to 3 the final score in this key matchup for the race for the Mountain Valley League title you can bet Pacific will uh, try to bounce back and keep their name in the hunt for the league title when it's all said and done all right, now let's shift gears to baseball. And it was San Gorgonio at home taking on Bloomington in San Andreas League play. And when they take on Bloomington, that means they're taking on the Bruins, who are the number one ranked team in the latest CIF Southern Section Division Six rankings. And Bloomington looked every bit of the part in this one. Already up to zip, second inning. Bloomington back on the attack. Abraham Lira rips the single to right field, so he's on board. And then it's Jordan Froggy lays down the bunt. Throw to first here will get away. Sanji shooting themselves in the foot on this play. The Bruins would eventually load up the bases with nobody out. But San Gorgonio starter Tim Moreno would come up big time. The strikeout for the first out of the frame right there. And then how about another swing and a miss for the second out of the inning right there. And then finally, the infield fly out to end the inning. And wow, Jackson Barkley is going to come up with the catch. Great work by Moreno to work out of the no outs, bases loaded jam. So fast forward to the third inning. Still two zip game, Bloomington on top. Sanji's Tom Moreno collects the single to get a runner on board for the Spartans. They were going up uh, against Andrew Tejeda, who's been fantastic in, on the mound this season for Bloomington. And then, uh, speaking of Tejeda, the Bloomington starter, he wears number 94. Nasty pitch there, gets the K. San Gorgonio trying to move the runner around. And, and this would help. James Macias rips the base hit to left field. It's going to fall in there. So now the Spartans have two runners on base. But Sanji would come up empty as the Bruins get the force out at third base on this play right there. So nothing doing for Sanji, and that, and that ends the inning. So now we go to the fourth inning, and Bloomington would build a big lead. David Barajas, the RBI base hit to bring home Carlos Orlas, three zip Bruins. And then it'll be Dylan Buzzard. Follows that up with a base hit right up the middle. That'll bring home Froggy. Makes it 4 nothing with Barajas on second. He's stealing third. The throw gets away. Barajas charges home, and he would be safe. It was just a lot of Bloomington in this game. And uh, there's that base knock with the sack fly to center field. That's going to bring home another run. Jimenez tags up and scores. Bloomington would score seven times in the fourth inning, and they would not look back. They took a 9-0 lead, and they go on to defeat San Gorgonio by a final score of 9-1 to in this game. So Bloomington, again, the number one team in the CIF Southern Section Division Six rankings, looking every bit of that ranking as they pull out a big win in San Andreas League play. 
All right, now let's go on to the county clash. It was Aquinas taking on Ontario Christian out there at San Manuel Stadium. We had the game live on IEMG. Let's take you out there. It was Ernesto Loera and Daryl Trujillo on the call. Check it out. Comes a 3-0 pitch. Pitch is crushed up to center field. Center fielder not going to get to it, and that's going to go all the way to the track. That's going to be a stand-up double, and just like that, Aquinas takes a 1-0 lead. Valentin needed, but runners on first and second. As that ball is crushed, it is hammered, and it stays fair. Hits the wall. That's definitely going to bring in two more runs. There's a one run comes across. And just like that, it is a 3 nothing game, but that was the laser to right field there. I mean, that was a really good poke in a minor league stadium that in most high school parks would probably be a home run. Yeah, we want to remind you where the double play ball here gets him out of the inning as that is rope to left field, center field. The dive, not able to make it, gets past the center fielder. And that's going to clear the bases, and he's looking for a triple. He's going to get there safe. So Esteban Olazaba with a bases clearing triple makes this a six to nothing game. A little more easier to bring him across the plate. And it looks like he's gonna do it easily as that ball is fair. It's like extra bases for Batanti. As he gets there with a stand-up double, making this a eight to nothing game here. And Aquinas would hang on to win that game by a score of 8-6. to six. Another game from the County Clash. Redlands taking on Beaumont in Citrus Belt League play. The Terriers would score three times in the first inning. And then in the third inning, they scored four more times. And that would be enough to beat Beaumont by a final score of 7-3. to three. The Terriers now 3-8 and eight overall. Beaumont falls to 2-8 and eight overall. And uh, again, another County Clash coming up on April 1st. Really looking forward to that. Three more really good games coming up. All right, when we come back here on Sports Weekly on IEMG, we'll talk some beach volleyball with the Aquinas Falcons. That's next on Sports Weekly.